So guys, so as some of you may know, I did pull this card in a season veteran pack the other day and I was debating on whether to do a full review or a mini review. And I figured that if I did a full review, you know, right now I've got so many cards um, that I'm currently doing and it would just take even longer. So I figured, you know what, let me just settle for a, a mini review and just play a few games with him. So I did play six games with him and just focused on him all game. So I definitely got plenty of um, plays with him to see what he can do. So here we go. Season vet Marcus Coates, a 94 overall dual style long pass, ground and pound style. 6 foot 4, 92 speed, 96 catch, 99 release, 95 jump, 98 catch and traffic, 94 spectacular, 65 elusiveness, and 90 route running. Also has an 81 truck, an 85 stiff arm, an 88 juke, and an 81 spin, so fairly effective after the run. But, anyways, man, enough talking. Let me show you what he can do on the field. So Marcus Colson might be one of the best slot receivers in the game, you know, because of how well he is at going across the middle, facing linebackers, and holding onto the ball when taking a big hit. Now, of course, you can run slants, drags, and everything else, but honestly, he's not that great of a route runner, especially without routes and curls. Not that great. I mean, he definitely drags his feet a lot and gave the the uh, he gave the corner way too much time to react. So. I don't recommend running, you know, routes like that. Just stick to slants and drags. That's really all you want to do with them. These deep passes right here were not that effective. I was really surprised. I was hoping, you know, to take advantage, take advantage of that six foot four frame. But honestly, I was only able to get three successful deep passes out of like maybe 12 attempts, which is not a very good percentage at all. And to be honest, guys, I've never had a receiver call so many interceptions. What I mean by that is, even when it was just one on one deep balls. There were so many times where the ball would get plopped up in the air, like the corner would swing his hand down and the ball goes flying up in the air, giving the safety or another corner. This right here, that right there, that shit the ball pops up in the air and gives the safety or the other corner a chance to pick it off. And I've never had a receiver cause that many plop ups. I don't know if, if that was just bad luck or if it was him. I don't know. So I don't recommend throwing the ball deep with him. Just do this right here. Throw across the middle. Uh, going up against linebackers it does not matter that's the best way to take advantage of him but across the middle ca catching in traffic is without, is without a doubt what he does best so if you pick him up that's why i recommend to use him to get the most out of him anyways guys that's going to be the end of this review my final thoughts do i think he's worth ninety-five thousand? honestly i think maybe he's worth like seventy thousand, which isn't that far off from 90 so if you want to spend 95 it's just fine you know i feel like that's a solid enough price for him for as well as he played and like i said i was going to be comparing him to kelvin benjamin the entire time and they both oddly enough they both go for about ninety-five thousand. so if you want a better deep threat i say go with benjamin if you want someone better to throw across the middle i would say go with colston is he a top five receiver no top 10 i don't think so either top 15 definitely a top 15 receiver in the game and i did make a video um earlier debating you know what qualifies as a budget player he would definitely be a budget player if he was going for like 50 k or less but you know that's not the case but definitely not too far off because i'm sure as time goes on maybe even two weeks from now i'm sure his price will just plummet to maybe 65 maybe 70 or even lower and that's when you, um, you could definitely call him a budget player so definitely worth trying out if you get the chance man so anyways man like i said i picked up so many players my next review should be this position here with jeffrey and then right after that, it's going to be that, um, uh, where's he at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? You're here somewhere. There he is. The, uh, throwback Charles. And then after that, I do have the ultimate Zach Thomas coming out. So be on the lookout for those cards, man. And I will see y'all boys later. Peace.